Hey, what's up guys? It's Ebony again, and thank you for watching another one of my videos. In this video, I'm gonna show you my apartment. So come on and check it out with me. I'm gonna show you the amenities first, and then we're gonna check out the apartment itself. So this is the main entrance right here. That's the leasing office. This is a huge foyer area. Um, so there's a lot to look at here. Um, we're actually going to go upstairs. I know you guys want to go because you guys are probably being nosy and trying to figure out what's going on up there. So we're going to take a look real quick. Now, I will say this. I could have took the elevator, but I'm working on my steps. So we are taking the stairs. These are so freaking beautiful. Like, when I buy my house, I definitely want these stairs. These type of stairs in my home. It's just so elegant how they built these. But what I like about this little loft area is the sitting area. Um, there's so many different places to sit. And what I like about this too is there is a lot of place to do content. I could literally sit in like 50 different chairs and it looks like I'm in different places, but it's all one place. All right, so once again, that's the leasing office. It's pretty big. It actually goes back a few uh, a few feet. This is where the concierge sits at. So the leasing office is there in the daytime and security and concierge there at night. Like I said, there's so many different seating areas and I love the aesthetics of this place. Like the trees are just giving. And you know what? Those are not even real. They look real, don't it? All right, you guys. So now we're gonna go look at the game room. I like this game room, it's pretty big. They got a TV in here. They have uh, multiple tables, a poker table. Um, I love, 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 love the fact that they have a pool table. I don't know how to play, but I like playing, if that makes any sense. And it's so discreet how they put like the sticks and the balls down at the bottom because it kind of looks tacky when it's showing. So I kind of like how they did that. Um, but this is like a pretty big space. You could have a few people in here. You could have like people playing game boards at the table. And then they also have chess. I love chess. I play this and checkers um, when I get a chance to when I'm not busy. All right, you guys. So we're actually going to go and check out the conference room. You know, it's not all about games. You gotta work too. And I love using this room um, because I do have work that I um, I like to accomplish down here in this space. They have the big table here if you're working with multiple people, which I love. Once again, another big TV. Um, they have these individual cubbies, these suites, I call them, I guess. And that's nice if it's just you by yourself. Um, they have another little conference area here is more private with a TV and then two additional um, uh, little cubby areas uh, and and I like this this is like really comfortable you know very intimate um, and another good place to record if I'm doing like a story time or something so I kind of like that and I love the fact that they have free printing so you know I'm gonna run it up I'm gonna run it up y'all but um yeah I'm gonna be spending a lot of my time down there all right you guys so um because i do a lot of paperwork i do use my mail room a lot um i'm glad it's literally steps and walking distance so that way i don't have to worry about you know driving all the way to the mailbox anymore and it is huge i love this and then in the back there in the corner they have the amazon packages so everything nobody gets to just steal your packages and they have to put a code to get in the door so if you don't put the code on the door then you're not getting your packages um i like this room um this is definitely like a secluded conference room um you do have to like uh reserve this space i love how it has the tv and the sinks you can have food on the back counter if you want to provide like uh, some type of refreshments for your guests and here is i would call this our uh, fake ass starbucks <laughs> now nah, but um i actually like that they have that there you know some mornings i could get breakfast etc etc so this is the game room they're supposed to be putting like xboxes and stuff in there but this apartment is brand new it only opened up a couple months ago so they're still building a lot of stuff in the unit oh yeah i had to put my code in to get in the gym this gym is one of the state-of-the-art gyms. I think 
for a community this is a really nice gym i mean obviously you know everything is brand new um i mean to be honest with you they're going neck and neck with la fitness um and I, what i like about this because it is a new community it's not too many people in here so when i come work out i don't have to worry about sharing a machine waiting on a machine etc cetera, etc cetera. and they got plenty of you know treadmills and steppers etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, I did um, hire a personal trainer. Shout out to um, Bickley. Um, he is my personal trainer. We actually just started this past Monday, and he worked with the hell out of my ass, girl. When I tell you my legs was like spaghettis, um, he definitely put the work in, and so um, I'm very grateful for that. I'm definitely uh, very serious about my health. For you guys who don't know, I am vegan, so... Uh, working out, um, I'm in my gym clothes there, working out and um, eating healthy is, to me, considered luxury. All right, you guys, so now we're on our way to go look at this beautiful resort-style pool. It is beautiful out here, you guys. Look at this pool area. They got the private cabanas. I love it. You don't even have to reserve them, and there's many of them here. Um, this is like super pretty and at night it's gorgeous. I should have took a video at night too so you guys can see how the pool lights up. But I had a lot going on so I was just like let me hurry up and record because this is a lot of work y'all. But I just wanted to walk through here and show you guys the aesthetics just because of the fact that this is just so pretty. You just want to be able to see everything. Like I said, more seating areas. So many seating. It's just ridiculous. This tree lights up at night and it is so gorgeous. Um, this entire outdoor space is nice. I'm not an outdoor person, but I will tell you, I would not mind being out here, especially at night when they have the lights all lit up and, and everything. It's just really pretty. Um, I love this place for outdoor parties. They literally have like this long area. So it's not like you have to set up any chairs or set up any tables. You can literally just put your tablecloth and bam, you got a party area. So they got the outdoor grills here. I'm not a grill person, but if I ever throw a party and I have a chef come out, then I definitely would have them utilize that space. I love this green lawn space. I was thinking about like cute little picnics or even like a bounce house if I throw little parties for the kids or whatever, whatever. This is a nice little another chill spot with a big TV. So there's so many places in this um, community that you could watch games. Um, you know, for some people watch football and NBA playoff games, so that's like really nice to have an outdoorsy space. Here is actually a fire pit. They have two of them, and at night it is like super gorgeous uh, to sit here and just you know chill by the fire pit. And then that's the second one there. Um, but I, what I like about this pool, it starts with at zero feet, and then it goes all the way to I think like five feet, and. Um, Oh, there's the, the, the private cabana there. And in the corner over there is actually a jacuzzi. You can't see it behind the chairs, but it's there. All right, you guys, let's go inside. I actually want to show you guys the uh, Sky Lounge. So that's going to be our next stop. Now, I will tell you, I definitely get my steps in in this community because it's a walk to get to everything, and I live in the back. <laughs> Lucky me. All right, so here's the Sky Lounge, and I think this is completely just... A gorgeous design um, this is strictly for adults um, they have three huge TVs for game night playoffs and all that great stuff um, what I like about this space is that you actually could reserve this entire floor so if you have like an adult type of party or in, or some type of you know just a gathering where you know some adults would come you can take like some drinks some snacks some food uh, this is also great for like 4th of July, um, just just nice events. Um, maybe you want to have a girls night and you have about 10 girls and you know, you could be like, you know what, I'm going to reserve the Sky Lounge. Oh, 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 look at me. Look, 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 look. I don't know how to act, y'all. <laughs> 
on the way to my apartment. Now, like I said, I live literally in the back, so I get my steps in every day. So here I have a keyless entry. We do not have keys here. We do put a code. All right, y'all, so here's the kitchen. A lot of cabinet space. I love the refrigerator. Definitely a lot of cabinet space, pantry space, more cabinet space here. I love how it has like a deep sink, a big deep sink. I really do love that. I do have the dishwasher, which I probably won't actually use. I usually use dishwashers to dry my dishes. I just hand wash my dishes. And I love the stove. Really nice. And I love this island, like this island I'm gonna be doing a lot of my prepping on. Um, for those who don't know, you know, I am vegan, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of my juicing right there. So overall, this is kind of like what the kitchen looks like. I love it. Um, back this way, I kind of skipped it, but they do have the washer and dryer here. It's kind of tucked away, so it's not too bad. I have my AC closet here, and you know I could just put my broom and mop and stuff in here, vacuums and stuff, garbage, all that stuff, because I don't like my garbage to be like exposed. So over here is the living room. I love this. I have 11 foot ceilings in my apartment. Let's go check out the views. It is so nice. I can literally see downtown from here. That's downtown area. That's the intercoastal. It is so cute out here. It's really nice. And then we got like a lake right here too, so. And then 95. It's nice. So this is um, my home office space. Uh, I like it because I can put all my, you know, office supplies, computer, printer, etc. This is my bedroom. I know it looks small from this frame, but it's actually pretty big. Um, I'm gonna do a full uh, furnished apartment tour after I'm done furnishing everything, and then I'll show you guys how I decorated. I just love these floors. They're just very neutral, very pretty, very modern. I love, love, love these double sinks. Um, just the way they kind of like did the whole layout. Um, don't mind this black glare on my camera. I caught myself trying to figure out the cinematic codes or cinematic screen and all that stuff Child, i don't know what i'm doing um but i just like these cabinets i get to definitely organize all of my stuff underneath the uh, cabinet so i'll probably do like a tic tac uh, video where I, I show how i organized all that i do have a stand-up uh, shower i wish that it was a tub but you know can't have it all right um, this is my huge walk-in closet. Like, I really love this. I don't know what I'm going to do with this space yet, but I'm going to figure it out. Definitely a lot of potential here. Um, one thing I like about this, uh, one-bedroom apartment, they do have double doors, so people don't have to go through my room to get to the bathroom, and I do love that about this space. I just want to say, you guys, thank you for watching, and I appreciate you. And thank you for everybody who has subscribed thus far. I really do love you.